Are you running a WordPress website and struggling to improve your SEO? Then look no further. In this video, we're diving into Rank Math, one of the best plugins for WordPress and Elementor. Rank Math is a powerful tool that helps you create and optimize your sitemaps, boost your SEO page scores, and target the right keywords to rank highly on Google. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. We're gonna cover how to verify your site with Google Search Console, and then we're gonna set up Google Analytics. We're gonna install and connect Rank Math to Google, and then we're gonna add your sitemap to Google so it can easily find your pages. We'll also explore on-page SEO using Rank Math's beginner-friendly interface and take a deep dive into Schema Markup, a game changer for helping search engines. Schema allows you to index and display your pages more efficiently, show your content to the right audience, and boost your click-through rate and conversions. But that's not all. We're also going to use ChatGPT to create high-quality landing page content. We're going to optimize your images and alt tags to make them more search engine friendly. There's a lot to cover, so stick with me, and your website's SEO is about to get a serious upgrade. Ready? Let's go. Before we add the SEO plugin, we need to open up Google Search Console. I'd also recommend opening up your domain controls so you can edit the zones and all the DNS settings. And we're also going to set up an analytics account. First up, we need to go into Google Search Console. And then here you should see over the top left, add a property. I've got several because I have lots of websites. And then we're just going to type the domain name in here. So I'd recommend using the one on the left hand side. Just put the domain in, no HTTPS or anything like that. Press continue and it's going to give us a code. So this is the code that we need to add into our domain name. Copy this. And then I'm going to go into my control panel, into my zone editor. This might be different if you've got a different domain provider. And then go into the right domain, press manage. All we're going to do now is add a text record. So click here, press add text record. Paste in the code we got from Google in the zone name, copy and paste the domain name in here, press save record. If I go back to the Google search console, press verify. This might not do it straight away. You might have to wait. Usually it's pretty quick. Brilliant. So that's verified. Press go to property. And then we're going to leave this window open and come back to it in a moment. We're now going to add Google Analytics to the site. Go to analytics. I've got a lot of sites on analytics, but if you go to the bottom, go to admin create and then we want to go create property and just paste in the name of your site you can set the time zone and the currency next and then fill in the different business details next and then we want to tick leads sales traffic user engagement retention create and we're going to choose a platform web Paste in your website in here, and I'll put the stream name as the website. Create and continue. And just wait a moment for it to load, and it's going to give us a tag. This is where we're going to put it into Elementor. Copy this tag. In your WordPress website, go to Elementor, go to Custom Code. Add new custom code, paste it into this box here, call it Google Analytics. And then press publish. And we want to make sure it's on the entire site, save and close. Press update. We can go back to our analytics tab, test installation. And we'll see our Google tag was correctly detected on the website. We can now close that. And we can close the analytics. In your WordPress website, we want to go to plugins, add new. In the right hand corner, it says search for plugins, search for rank math. And you want rank math SEO, all in one SEO, buy rank math SEO, install now. Activate. Next, we want to connect your account. I would choose Google. Make sure you tick this little box, press Google. And then choose your Google account. Okay, activate now. Connect free account. 
Activate now. Personally, I always use advanced because it gives me more options. Press start wizard. And you can fill in your business details, upload your logo. You can tell it all the different types of businesses that it is. Save and continue. Connect to Google services. Again, select your account. Press continue. And then it's going to ask for some permissions. Press continue. And then what you've got to do is just wait a moment. Sometimes it shows the wrong site to start with, but if you wait about 10 seconds, it should just change over to your site. And there we go, it's changed over. We don't need to install any of this here. Also, I would turn off email reports unless you specifically want them. Save and continue. Leave everything here as is, save and continue. Leave everything as is, save, continue. And you're ready to go. Return to dashboard. The next thing I'm going to do is go to sitemaps. So over on rank math setting, go to sitemap settings. And we want to copy this URL here. Right click, copy. In the Google search console, go to sitemaps. And paste in the sitemap URL you copied from rank math. Press submit. And that's successful. Dismiss. If you want to take it further, what you can do is go to sitemap settings, click on this URL, and it will give you all the other ones. And I copy and add each of these. So this one's going to be the pages specifically. And also the posts if you have a blog. It's just making sure that Google's got all the sitemaps on your site. It should get it from the basic one. So it should pick it up from this one anyway, but I like to add these just to be safe. To optimize our pages using Rank Math, we want to go to Pages. And we should see that we've got some SEO details here. If you want to see more options, I highly recommend this, is to go to Screen Options, Enable SEO Details, SEO Title, and SEO Description. And I like to turn everything else off just to keep the interface clean. Press Apply. And what this is going to show us is that's going to be our page title. And then this is going to show us the description of how it's going to appear on Google. Next thing we're going to do is go into the page. I like to start with the home page. Go edit with Elementor. And to get to our SEO, over here on the left hand side, click on SEO. And we'll see it's got what looks like a Google advert. And then you've got your keywords here, which is going to be the business name or the page title or the word you want to optimize it for. And then it's got a really cool traffic light system. So it tells you what's bad on the page and what could be improved. And if you want to expand these, you can just click on the little chevron here. That'll open them all up. I just personally like to open them all up and then make my window big so I can see the whole lot. What I'm going to do is for my keyword, I'm going to use the business name. I'm going to paste that in here. And we see it's actually got a good amount of content on there. So it has gone green. And we can look on the left hand side to see what we could do to improve. So we could do with the name of the business and the meta description. We'll come on to that in a moment and additional items. We could do with the keyword in there a few more times on the page. So moving on, we'll go and edit the meta description, go edit snippet. This is what our Google search results going to look like. So at the moment, it's got the title, which is called the Preselli window cleaning, also the site name, which is Preselli window clean. We don't want it to do that. What we want to do is I'm going to put in our keyword. And then I'm going to say what the company offers. So as you're typing, we should see this bar going up. We can see here it's telling you that it doesn't want any more than 60 characters. And that's quite a good score. If I did keep typing, we can see it goes red because we're giving it too much. So it doesn't want that. So try and get it into the green. And then it's going to be similar down here. You've got 160 characters. What it's looking for is it's looking for your keyword in the first paragraph. So it's got the window cleaning. Then we could add a description of the company services in here. So as I'm typing, we should see that the score is increasing. So here's our keyword here, Pacelli window cleaning. Here's a list of the services. There's the keyword again in the meta description as the first part, which is important. And then we've got the different services in the rest of the description. And we see there, it's pretty much in the green. And what I'm also going to do is we're going to have a look at a thing called schema. 
This tells Google what type of service or product you're using. So I'm just going to copy this for the time being, Command C or Control C on a PC. So it's looking pretty good on the left hand side. Most of our traffic lights are green, so it's then all good. So to go on to schema, what we're going to do is go to where it says general, go to the middle icon here, click on this. And we can see initially it's set as an article, delete this, go to schema generator. And then I'm going to put a service because this is a service based business. If yours is different, if you're like a restaurant, you choose restaurant or if you sell a specific product, you choose product. But mine's a service, so I'm going to use this one. So what I'm going to do is, where it says description, I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to copy our keyword and put it in the headline. And I'll probably use some of this as well. Where it says service type, you can put in the different services and they all just need to be separated by a comma. So I can just copy this and put these in. And then it's telling Google that it is roof cleaning, pressure washing, patio cleaning, and you get the gist. Okay, so you just separate each service by a comma. Price, what I would do is put in prices in pounds because we're in the UK. Currency, GBP for Great British Pound. And then save this post. You can add more into this box if you want. With the schema, you can add more than 160 characters in here. But once you're done on that, press save for this post and then make sure you publish your page. And if I go back to the cog here, it's going to show us our SEO score. So 87 out of 100 is actually really good. Anything over about 75% is what you want to be aiming for. If you can get it up to 100%, fantastic. Say something like write 600 word landing page copy for the name of the business then list the services that your business offers and let ChatGPT go to work. And then it will come up with results like this. So it's coming up with like all the intro, it's telling them about all the different services. So that's going to help you rank really highly on Google because you're giving it enough content to go off. And then once you've got everything written down, you can just copy this. And what I recommend doing is pasting it into a Word document. And then you can copy and paste it into your website, into different paragraphs and make it look however you want. That's the home page done. If I go onto one of the services pages, it works exactly the same way. So I go into pressure washing. And there's only one little difference between the home page and normal page. Go to SEO. I put, put in my keyword. Go to edit snippet. So this is the main difference. So if we look at the permalink, you see there the permalink is enabled on the services pages. So it's got pressure washing in there, which is quite good. And then we'd fill in the description as we did before. And here we go, here's the title. So our page is pressure washing and then it's filled in the site title. So you can adjust this if you need to, or if you're happy, you can leave it as it is. And everything else is pretty much the same. So like things like the schema is gonna be the same again. So delete article, and then we go schema generator. And I set mine as a service and fill it in as I did before. One thing I love about Rank Math is this traffic light system. It's super helpful. It tells me what I need to do to improve my page. So just by clicking on this question mark, it's going to say that I need to add an alt tag to my images. And to do this, I can go into my media library and then where it says alternative text, that is your alt tag. I would add my keyword in here so it would get another green tick and would rank slightly higher because Google knows what this image is. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and smash that subscribe, leave a comment below and thanks for watching.